The Traffic Department of the Royal Grenada Police Force is enforcing strict traffic regulations for the Easter weekend to ensure a smooth flow for the 51st Carifta Games. During a press conference on Wednesday, a comprehensive plan was outlined by ASP Randall Batiste, officer in charge of the Traffic Department. It outlines parking and no parking areas, streets designated as one-way and emergency routes. ASP Batiste said unlike previous activities held in the stadium, parking in the environs is limited due to ongoing work at the cricket stadium. For the Carifta Games, only persons with authorized passes, motor vehicle passes, will be permitted and allowed to park at the stadium and its environs. So I just wanted to get that out of the way so the, the general public will be aware and we want to encourage the persons who don't have that particular authorized pass to avoid coming to the stadium with your vehicle with the expectation of getting a pass because it's just not practical and by you complying to such will will limit any form of unnecessary obstruction and traffic congestion. Access to the designated parking areas will be granted to only those providing proof of authorized access credentials. The VIP and VVIP will park at the concrete car park right here at the Kirani James Stadium. The Athletes, the, the vehicles that will be transporting the athletes will park at gate 6. And those of us who are not familiar with gate 6, I'm speaking of the area where the cricket nets at, are at the cricket stadium. The officials will also park at gate 6. On entry to gate 6, the officials will make an immediate left in that grass area there. So that's where the officials will park. Um, adjacent to the concrete parking area at the Kirani James Stadium, we have a dot and grass area there. That area will be also utilized to park um, persons from media houses, so, um, caterers, and all other persons with authorized motor vehicle passes will park at the Wesley College plane. A number of streets and roads will be designated for no parking on the days of the games. We have Melville Street, the entire Melville Street will be no parking, Queen's Park Public Road, Cherry Hill Public Road, Mount Rush Public Road, River Road Public Road from its intersection with Cemetery Hill to the area close to Postal Lumber Yard will be no parking and we, we look forward to the public compliance in that regard because we expect a heavy flow of vehicular and pedestrian traffic along those roads and those roads are two-way two -way, two -way roads and we all know they are not so wide so if any vehicle parked at any given time on any one of those roads we will have obstruction and congestion so we really look forward to strict compliance from the motoring public as it relates to adhering to the no parking roads. There will also be some one-way roads during the, during the games. So um, Cemetery Hill will be one way to, towards Old Ford direction. Old Ford Public Road will be one way towards Lucas Street direction. Montrose Public Road will be one way from its intersection with the Stadium Ring Road. During the games, Homeback Bridge will be one way from River Road direction. Parking will be made available to the public at various locations of no more than five to ten minutes from the stadium. On Saturday, Sunday and Monday will be the Grand Mall playing field, the Tantin playing field and the Old Trafford playing field. For Sunday and Monday there is possibility there might be two additional parking areas to complement those three that I mentioned. And that will be the top of the bus terminus and the Arisa car park. This is yet to be confirmed, but the organizing committee is in dialogue and conversation with those
two um, relevant authorities, and once that is confirmed, the public will be made aware. The emergency route is Symmetry Hill down to Church Street onto the Granitang Road onto the General Hospital. The RGPF wrecker and the clamp team will be deployed on the days to ensure strict compliance from motorists.